What's going on guys? Saturday, August 22nd, we're about 10.15 right now. Kristen is in the grocery store doing some grocery shopping. I'm sitting here, I got Reagan in the back seat. Went out, grabbed some breakfast, took him to the park. It's been a long week, a very long week. Rosie had cluster seizures starting very early Monday morning, <clears throat> which prompted us to take her to all the way to Virginia. It's the closest emergency vet. She spent about 30 hours there, picked her up Tuesday morning. Uh, she came out, she seemed very energetic, good. Got in the car, gave her a little bit of food, went home. Um, and she was kind of uncomfortable back and forth between you know, on our bed and then coming out to the living room to uh, sit and chill out a little bit. And Wednesday, kind of the same, but Wednesday night, she uh, she slept really good to the tune of like, you know, in the morning when it was breakfast time for them, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not waking her up yet. So she slept until almost eight, got up, had breakfast, Thursday, must have been. Yeah. And I had to go to Moyoc to the license plate agency a couple hours away. And I was getting texts from Kristen saying she's fallen over a couple of times. And she she did that at least once. Um, I forget if it's the day we brought her home and then once or twice on Wednesday. You know, and I kind of wanted to play it off like She's just exhausted, you know, she's been through a lot. Uh, we also found out shortly after we, you know, moved here that she likely has a thyroid tumor, you know, on top of the seizures. So after, you know, Thursday, her falling down and she ended up vomiting and diarrhea. made the very, very difficult decision to have her put to sleep yesterday. <clears throat> Kristen actually called our vet back home, who, you know, had been our vet for 10 years, just over 10 years. She talked with him and, he, you know, he's, he said, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not good. You know, she's falling over, she's not recovering. And he said his last three dogs, he regretted waiting so long. So Chris and I talk about it I don't, I didn't want her to go back into cluster seizures and pass that way you know, or, you know, get into a point where she's having seizures for, you know, five minutes at a time. Um, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So, just about 24 hours since she, uh, since she passed, but. It was a tough morning yesterday for sure, and it's gonna take you know, a lot of time healing, but <clears throat> we took her out to the beach Thursday night. You know, she loves the beach. We all just sat with her. And then yesterday morning, we got up to take her and it's just like yesterday was just so full of tears and even today there's tears and there's I think there's gonna be tears for a while <clears throat> um, but we started our journey her last journey down the beach uh, yesterday morning and it was a beautiful sunrise over the water 
the horses. The horses were out and they came out to see her off. And the biggest sea turtle I've ever seen in my life was out. And then my sunflowers, which I've been waiting for them to bloom, they bloomed yesterday morning. We got to the vet and you know, they're really not letting people go inside unless need be and the uh, vet tech came out and said, you know, is there any way we can do this, you know, outside somewhere here? Because, you know, ultimately we wanted to have someone come to the house and do it, but we couldn't find anyone. <clears throat> so she said okay, and she brought a cart out, put her on the cart. And uh, said our final goodbyes. It was tough. I've never, I've never had to do this <clears throat> before. Kristen's never had to do this before. And really hard, really hard. So, about five hours after that, we, uh, we got home, and you know, Chris and I had been talking about getting another dog you know, for at least a year now just have him come across the right one. So I've been touch I've been in touch with this lady some days prior. She has French Bulldogs. She's a breeder in Cary, North Carolina, about four and a half hours from here. And she said, yeah, yeah, she's gonna have dogs. Um, should be ready in like December. I said okay. I ended up messaging her yesterday about something. She said, you know what? She said, her dog just had a litter in July. She's like, I, I, have, I currently have a female who I was gonna keep and use for breeding down the road, but I think she's gonna be too small. I think you might be interested. She sent me a picture and she said, she's a blue fawn merle. It's her, it's her color, and I told Kristen and uh, Rosie, although in English, it was a blue fawn girl. Weird, weird that just kind of fell in our lap yesterday, so there's a good chance that we're going to get her here in a month. Like, is it early? Yes and no. I think it's going to help greatly with grieving and it's going to help greatly with this little guy I have in the back seat because as of this morning he's been he's been looking for her. He's been looking for Rosie. And that was just oh, it's heartbreaking. It's totally heartbreaking. <clears throat> so while it will certainly help us, uh, it's going to help him a whole lot too. His so we're going to Blowing Rock, North Carolina for a week, do some hiking and stuff September 4th. And I told her, I said, ask them, like, when, when will she be ready? I said, we return, our return date is September 11th. And she said, she'll be ready on September 11th. So likely, uh, we will, on our Friday, on the way to Blowing Rock, stop early, see the puppy. On our way home, two big things on the way home, you know, potentially picking up the puppy, and then we had Rosie, we had Rosie cremated. Um, she might be, her ashes might be back before we go, but it'll, it'll be close. Um, so we could potentially be uh, picking her ashes up on the way home too. It's really nice. I, so I, did, I didn't know what to expect after, you know, I called the vet home with us, like, how's this work? You know, I was fully prepared to bury her. Um, she said, you know, we have a place in Chesapeake, Virginia that does cremation, and uh, they give you a little lock of hair, 
and a paw print. Nice little box. I'm like, done. So, hard week, stressful week, exhausted mentally, physically, but in time, in time we'll get through this. But dealing with the loss of a pet is, it's tough. It's always tough. So anyways, that's what I got for now. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Be well.